I have Freak Athletes brand new, just updated six machines in one Nordic Hyper GHD. And I'm gonna tell you everything I don't like about it in the first 60 seconds of this video. Woo! The No Fate Channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and with so many fake influencers not actually using the products that they're promoting and just pumping you with their affiliate links, I thought it was best to start off my review of the brand new 6-in-1 Do-It-All Nordic Hyper GHD with everything I don't like about it before I even say one nice thing about this beaut. Rude Awakening coming up! The cost. This thing comes in at $600. Keep in mind, that's with my code NOFATE247 or $650 if you don't like saving money. And I don't care how bad inflation has been over the years, six C notes is quite a chunk of change. To add insult to injury, and frankly, a direct attack on my cheap moral fibers, they charge shipping, which, if you live in Massachusetts, will run you an additional $92. If this machine was a one-trick pony, I'd tell it to hit the bricks, pal, and beat it. And if you're buying this machine for only one exercise, it's not for you. The reverse hyperextension is a fantastic exercise that is supposed to provide traction and spinal decompression while training your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Now, standalone units typically start at $400 and only go up from there. For a six-in-one machine, the Freak Athlete comes close to mimicking a reverse hyperextension. However, you aren't going to get spinal decompression or traction with this exercise, in large part because on the eccentric part of the exercise, when your legs are swinging down, there's no real resistance or weight against them. Now, when your legs swing back up, you are absolutely decimating your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back. You can't add resistance using bands. This does have band attachment points. I will say it does take some finagling to find the right length and the right resistance of those bands, and that resistance is only going to be at the top end of the movement. The Freak Athlete website says this can not only handle 500 pounds, but also athletes as tall as 7 feet. Now, for reference, I am 6'1". Kind of a big deal. Now, when I do reverse hyperextensions, in order to make sure that my tips of my toes don't kind of clip the bottom of the floor. I actually have to put this into a decline position in order to kind of get a full range of motion without having to second guess myself. For the most part, many of you are not going to have an issue whatsoever with this machine. I would say if you are 6'3 or taller, you're probably going to have to make some slight modifications on a few exercises. But don't cry in your milk just yet. Only 3% of the entire human population is 6'3 or taller. I don't care what you lied about in your Tinder profile. Odds are, you're not that tall. Six you're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. The two studs over at Freak Athlete have been working over time. They not only completely revamped their entire website for a better user experience, they somehow found the time to improve upon their initial design. And their newest version of the Nordic Hyper GHD does just that. Most companies would have labeled this the 2.0 version, but the owners decided to just let it speak for itself. So what changed? When you first get this in, it takes a little time getting used to changing the different angles and going from one exercise to the next. To help smooth out that transition and to reduce that learning curve, they added colored knobs so you can e easily differentiate between them. The brain trust at Freak Athlete knew. They knew that I had just hit the render button when they decided to release a leg extension for their Nordic Hyper GHD, making it now eight machines in one. Eventually. I need to thank all of you for using my affiliate links. When you use those links, it helps me keep this ice bath cold in the winter time. As usual, let me know when you use those links so that I can send you a small token of my appreciation. They claim to have improved the stability, 
But at 61190, I never had any problems with the previous version with regards to stability. In fact, I'm so lazy and I thought the thing was so stable, most of the time I didn't bother to tighten down the knobs. I just let it ride. Now, you happen to be a deuce, deuce and a half. Maybe you're in the Clydesdale division, if you know what I mean. That's obviously a check in the positive column that they improved the stability. Now the previous iteration had a step up post and honestly, I never bothered to use it. I just kind of hopped on, hopped off and it oftentimes just got in the way. So they have since added a fully knurled step up post that can be retracted out of the way when not being used. They improved the latching mechanism for the lower angles. So if you want to drop this thing into a 5, 10 or 15 degree position, it's not only quicker, it's a lot more sturdy. They have added the ability to adjust this front gap with the turn of these knobs. You can even eliminate it all together. Now, I like to protect my its and bits, so I actually preferred the largest gap setting, so I just put it in the largest gap setting, set it, and forget it. But it's always good to have options. When you do a quick glance between the old version and the new version, a lot of the improvements are easy to miss at first glance. Case in point is this lift bar. The old version, it was pretty close to the ground. The new version, I don't even know if the camera's picking this up, it's got a nice gap, meaning it's gonna be that much easier when you go to pick this up and move it from one location to another. Why should you buy the Freak Athlete 6-in-1 Nordic Hyper GHD? What makes it worth $700 when you factor in shipping and what does it do exceptionally well? First and foremost, this isn't a money grab. It comes with a two year warranty. We know it can withstand at least 500 pounds, but they go a step further and offer you an amazing return policy. 100 days free shipping on your return. That means you can abuse this thing for three months, do all sorts of freaky, kinky stuff on it and still return it. They're not in the pump and dump type of business. They're not gonna mate off you. The owners at Freak Athlete know when you get this thing in house, you're not only gonna love it, you're gonna tell all your friends about it. I don't care if you have an entire farmhouse for your home gym or you're just training in a New York studio apartment. Space in a home gym is always at an absolute premium and the Nordic Hyper GHD is a massive space saver. Obviously six machines in one but when you store it vertically it fits inside four square feet two by two and it's designed to be sturdy enough to handle anything you can throw at it but also light enough to easily maneuver into and out of position. Nordic curl. We know that they are a fantastic exercise for training your hammies. I don't want to pull a hammy. And strengthening your knees. But most people can't even do a single Nordic curl with good form, let alone wrap them out. So the Nordic Hyper GHD is ideal for that because it allows you to gradually learn the Nordic curl by using incremental angle changes so that you can train it properly rather than trying to go whole hog. It even has handholds in the front to help you save yourself from those failed Nordic curl attempts. For all of you SEAL Team 6 alphas that not only want to show up, you want to show out. The Freak Athlete Nordic Hyper GHD can do decline Nordic Hypers, making the exercise excruciatingly harder than it already is. GHDs are an absolute blast with this thing. Not only do they decimate your abs, but with Freak Athlete, you can actually adjust the height. So if you're learning the exercise, or maybe you don't have enough flexibility to go all the way back and touch the ground, this will accommodate you. I've found the GHDs to be extremely stable, but I'm no CrossFit Matt Frazier superhero. I'm not Jason Bourne. If you happen to be getting after it, you can actually improve the overall stability by simply utilizing the weight pegs on the rear and in the front that they provide. The foot pad is absolutely top 
shelf. It allows you plenty of options to lock your feet in nice and snug so that you don't have to worry about wobble or give. You always feel safe and secure. Two exercises that will absolutely catch you by surprise on how easy they are to set up and how good they feel are the hip thrust and everybody's favorite, the Bulgarian split squat. When I first looked at this thing online, I thought for sure it was going to be like a wonky donkey and it was going to be wobbly and not feel safe and frankly, just take too long to set up because I'm rather lazy. But I was absolutely wrong. And now it's time. It is time for my final thoughts on the freak athlete Nordic Hyper GHD and yes, it's expensive, but it makes up for that cost by offering massive space savings and versatility. This thing easily replaces a number of would-be machines in your home gym. Now, changing between settings does have a learning curve, but after a few weeks, you're going to be faster than grease light. If you're planning on using the Freak Athlete Nordic Hyper GHD for three or more exercises, it's absolutely a must buy. Now I've had this thing for almost four months now and it still gets used four to five times a week. Now predominantly I use it for GHDs, Nordic curls, as well as lower back raises. I also do leg ups and occasionally where I'm feeling super sadistic, I will throw in Bulgarian split squats. If you made it this far in the video, did we just become best friends? Yep. The best way you can support this channel and future content besides clicking on the links in the description is to simply watch another video. As usual, thanks for watching, stay classy, and don't save anything for the trip back. Job's done.